We were just going through some footage from a passage home to Newport from Block Island the other day. We got some great stuff showing the Solent rig and how we use it in lots of different sailing conditions. We sailed wing on wing and we put the second head sail out and sailed wing on wing on wing for a while. Conditions were a bit rolly, the wind was a little bit light, yet even with no whisker pole, the sails just stay up. We're motoring out of Great Salt Pond in Block Island, bound for Newport. Okay, we're getting ready to head straight downwind towards Newport. Uh, we are doing this Sands Spinnaker. Uh, our spinnaker is for sale, by the way. Uh, we started going wing on wing, and actually with the two head sails, we go wing on wing on wing. And uh, we're gonna try to do that today too. Argon is rigged with dual head stays. It's a Solent rig, which means she always has a 90% jib as well as a 150 Genoa furled and ready to go. One of the best things about being uh, without a spinnaker is how much room there is in our sail locker now. Uh, we've got a Witchard Easy Jibe Boom Brake. We're going to snug that up right now. Uh, so we're going to jibe the main over, leave the reacher backwinded for a moment, and then get back on a wing on wing configuration. So there's the control line for the boom brake. Be a nice slow jibe with the boom brake on. 14 knots of wind. Two more. Okay, need to be flying over. Nice. And it was back winded. I'm get the general back in. We're going wing on wing right now with the main and the 150 Genoa. It's a little bit rolly right now, but the easy jibe brake is keeping the boom pretty stable. And uh, we're just going along with the autopilot right now with no trouble. And uh, right now we're gonna show you why we don't have a spinnaker anymore. In the next scene, we're going to go from sailing straight downwind with both head sails out to sailing on a broad reach with just the main and the reacher. It's as simple as rolling up the jib and jibing the reacher. Since it's a solent rig, you have to jibe the reacher around the outside, sort of like a chute. When we made the turn up into Newport Harbor around Fort Adams, we had to sail very close hauled, so it was time to switch to the jib. Very often when we're changing between the reacher and the jib, or vice versa, we'll roll one out and roll the other one up simultaneously. watching our video as we share our love of sailing. You can follow Argon at any time by going to argonsailing.com and you can follow our blog. We love hearing from you so please drop us a note and let us know if there's other topics you'd like us to cover.